AD 200X. Household Robots Rock and Roll were created by Master Robot Designer Dr. Light and were enjoying their peaceful days in the pink multicolored sky. But then one day, the industrial robots all over the world went on a rampage and the world fell into chaos. Just look at those domes of chaos everywhere in the same three places. But Dr. Light quickly realized that mad scientist Dr. Wiley was behind the nefarious deed, but he didn't know what to do. Rock, having incredibly slow text coverage and a strong sense of justice, volunteered to be converted into a fighting robot. But it looks painful. Thus, the super robot Mega Man was born. Wakey, wakey, Mega Man. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Mega Man shattered Dr. Wily's plans three times, and world peace has been maintained so far, but history repeats itself. Dr. Cossack, a mysterious scientist, has invented eight powerful robots and sent them after Mega Man. Mega Man starts for the battle again, this time equipped with the powerful new Mega Buster. To the future! No stopping this train! Hello everyone, this is Ultima Mantoid, and this is Let's Play Mega Man 4. And for those of you curious about the video card situation, no, it has not been rectified, but somehow it fixed itself again. I don't understand it, but whatever. Since it seems to be fixed for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and try for an LP, and we're not going to watch the story again. Anyway, yes, um, NVIDIA canceled my ticket, so I have to go call them and complain. So what I did in this game, just like the other, the past two, I let somebody else decide my starting point. So, Jeff Davis picked Pharaoh Man. Because Meg, uh, because Pharaoh Man does not put up with your shit. Now, there's been talk that you could use the rain flush on the sand here, but and it's supposed to like stop the sand or whatever, but it actually doesn't. So don't waste your rain flush if you happen to come to this stage with it. Never know when you might need it. Alright, let's get over there, shall we? First secret of the game. What's this? Sand! It's everywhere, so get used to it! You know, at least that's one good thing that a turbo button is good for, just repeated hopping. What is this bee thing, you ask? It's a bee. Isn't it obvious? Gosh, you people. So demanding to know everything. But you know what? I'll tell you what it is. It's the balloon adapter. You remember item one? It's pretty much the same principle. So you can ride the balloons and get to places that are higher up. And of course these guys are kind of reminiscent of the footholders from Mega Man 1. And the bats that I was shooting, and like that one up there, the baton they're called Batontons. They have been in Mega Man 2, I believe, but I don't think they were uh, I don't think they made an appearance in 3, but I could be wrong. Now, why do they talk about a new Mega Buster? This right here. It has a charge feature. Uh, 
But I'm not going to be charging all the time because that sound effect will eventually get annoying. Now these mummies... Oh, interesting story here. The little head that flies off? I think there's one more left. No, I'll just spawn another one. See the little head? I used to call that thing a chihuahua head. So, the mummies, they would fire chihuahua heads at you. Don't ask. I had an active imagination as a child. Alright, so, Pharaoh Man, huh? Well, how, how fast or how deadly can you possibly be? Well, obviously, I just... You just landed on me. The only time I ever actually fought this guy with just the Buster was when I did my live stream of all the Mega Man games. Or at least the original six. He might actually beat me. Whoa! That was a long jump. Hmm. Good job. Good job, Pharaoh Man. Let's try again. Oh, wow. That was difficult to dodge. Whoa. Whoa. He's going to kill me again, isn't he? Wow, that was a close match. Wow, close match indeed. So, yeah, Jeff, that was incredible. Thanks for that. So, Pharaoh, man, he was tired of our shit. Now I've got your power. Stage select. So I decided to do something different with this game. I'm going to roll this eight-sided die here. And we'll go left to right, top to bottom, one through eight. If I get eight, though, then that's, you know, three. So we'll go after Skull Man. Who is actually got a really interesting stage. It's got a ton of energy tanks in it. Whoa! Rubber balls. Super ball go! Random fact. I believe Nico said that this was the either the first Mega Man that he played or like Oh, we're not letting that get away from us. Not especially not after dying to Pharaoh Man. Anyway, ne I think Nico said that this was like his favorite Mega Man or um, something. I know that Dust Man's his favorite. By the way, this is uh, Skeletal uh, Skeleton Joe or Skeletal Joe. Yeah, I can sit here and shoot him all day, but every time I do, he falls apart. How do you kill him? Well, one of two things. You can shoot him and run past him. Or you can do this. Charge a shot and just shoot him. And he dies. Oh, dead end. Now let's show off the Pharaoh shot a little bit. Pretty useful. Um, that was... Did anybody just see that? I only fired once. Cool thing about Pharaoh Shot, though, is that you can charge it. What the... Yeah, see, you can charge it. You also carry it to other screens with you. 
It just has to have time to regenerate itself. By the way, it's a fire-based weapon. Ow. Um, I'm not even gonna ask what just happened. Apparently, these shield attackers are just stupid. Now, I need to get that. Come here, balloon. We'll use you. Show you off a little bit. And we're going to take damage here to save time. Whoa! You're supposed to grab the ladder. Interesting tidbit, by the way. They changed the jump physics behind uh, in Mega Man between uh, 2 and 3. So, if you, you know, like doing just ridiculous, stupid mini hops like me, just by holding a turbo button, just for no reason, you'll actually feel the difference. He feels more like he's on a jackhammer here instead of just like natural tiny hops. Random fact of the day, the more you know could never seem to make this jump without the balloon, which I have, so... Yay, energy tank! I could have totally just used that. Oh well, what do you know? But yes, the Pharaoh Man is a fire-based weapon, and that's a pit! I just thought I'd show off the pit. There's nothing down there. It's okay, I tested this. I mean, you saw me test it. It's perfectly safe. Really? I did... Was it necessary to show it off again? try that jump one more time because uh I have no more lives okay you know what we're just gonna make sure I don't mess it up this time I can't believe I didn't make that jump twice Uh, I am not feeling safe anymore after missing that jump. Twice. So, random fact, yes, Pharaoh Shaw does work on uh, Skeleton Sniper Joe. And it has the same result. Um, I figured it out because where you can charge this weapon, you can hit enemies above you. I wonder what, how much damage the Pharaoh shot does to Skullman. Oh, and cool thing, I'm going to set the controller down for a moment. Staring contest, the ultimate one. No, seriously, he will not do anything if you do not touch a button. And then if you jump, or if you move forward, if you fire, will actually cause him to do different things when starting out. So watch. Oh, he dings it off. Interesting. This will be an interesting one. Come on. Oh, he stopped short. And goodbye, Skullman. He's very pattern based, not nearly as sporadic as Pharaoh Man.
so we have our first two robot masters carved into Mega Man 4. And we get the Skull Barrier, which is you saw. You know, Skullman use it, it's your standard shield weapon. Alright, so with that, we have two Robot Masters down and six to go with this new evil villain, Dr. Cossack. Which, apparently, I think is the name of a Russian dance. So yes, he's Russian-based. He's a Russian doctor. Because in Soviet Russia, Robot Master kill you! I'm Ultima Mantoid, and we'll be back with more Let's Play Mega Man 4. Till next time, take care, and have fun!